Hello friends, this is Pranav Kadam and today we are going to learn about the difference between MAC protocols in ad hoc network. So I am assuming that you are well familiar with the term MAC protocols as well as ad hoc networks. So we will be doing a comparative analysis of all the MAC protocols existing today in the ad hoc networks. Basically there are four broad types of MAC protocol. The first one is contention based protocol without any reservation or scheduling mechanism. The second is contention based protocol with reservation mechanism. Third is contention based protocol with scheduling mechanism. And other MAC protocols are included in the last type. Friends, we will be focusing on contention based protocols without any scheduling mechanism or reservation mechanism. The contention based protocols are divided into two subcategories. The first one is sender initiated protocols and other is receiver initiated pro protocols. There are five existing MAC protocols today. The first one is multiple access with collision avoidance. We call it as MACA. The other is MACA BI, which stands for multiple access with collision avoidance by invention. Third one is power aware multi access protocol with signaling, which is called as PAMAS, and the DBTMA, which is dual busy tone multiple access. And the last one is MARCH, which stands for media access with reduced handshake. Here we can see that MACA comes under sender initiated single channel protocols. DBTMA and PAMAS are the sender initiated multi-channel protocols. MACA BI is a receiver initiated single channel protocol and the MARCH is receiver initiated protocol. So let's do a comparative analysis of all these protocols. First of all, we will do comparison based on initiation mechanism. So MACA is a sender initiated protocol. MACA BI is receiver initiated protocol. PAMAS is also sender initiated protocol. DBTMA is also sender initiated protocol. MARCH is sender and receiver initiated protocol. So we will see it later about MARCH. Sender initiated protocol requires sender to initiate communication by informing the receiver that it has data to send. Here, node A sends an explicit RTS that is ready to send message to node B. Node B can then reply if he, it is willing to receive data from A. If positive, it returns CTS that is clear to send message to node A. Node A then subsequently proceed to send data. So that is sender initiated MAC protocols. Let's see what is receiver initiated MAC protocol. Here, the receiver first has to contact the sender, that is node A, informing the sender that it is ready to receive the data and sends RTR message. The RTR stands for ready to receive. Here, only one control message is used. A node cannot transmit data unless it has received an initiation from the receiver. Now we will see the difference according to the channel allocation. Here, MACA is a single channel protocol. In single channel protocols, a node that wins the contention to the channel can make use of the entire bandwidth. MACA BI is a single channel protocol. PAMAS is a multi channel protocol. We can see that in PAMAS, single channel and data channel, there are two channels available. Control signals transfer over this channel, single channel, and the data signals transfer over the data channel. DBTMA is also a multi channel protocol. Here, data channel and control channel is present. In March, it is a single channel protocol. Now, let's see the difference according to the handshaking and the data transfer mechanism. MACA has this three-way handshake mechanism where 
RTS, CTS and data. This type of transmission takes place. In Maca BI, Maca BI uses only two-way handshaking, that is RTR and data. In Maca BI, the RTS and CTS, they both are replaced by the RTR. RTR is ready to receive. In PAMAS, we use three-way handshaking, like the Maca, RTS, CTS and data. But here a separate power on-off mechanism is present. We'll see the power on off mechanism of Mecca. So PAMAS is based on Mecca protocol only with the addition of separate signaling channels. PAMAS conserve more battery by selectively powering off the nodes that are not actively transmitting or receiving the packets. In PAMAS, nodes are received to shut themselves off if they are overhearing other transmissions not directed to them. If a node has no packet to transmit, it should power off if one of its neighboring nodes is transmitting. If node packet to transmit, but at least one of the neighboring nodes is transmitting and another is receiving, then it should power off its trans transceiver. So what is transceiver? It is a device which catches the signal and converts them into the electrical signals. Now DBTMA here busy tone mechanism is used to control channel. It uses a three way handshaking same as the Mecca, RTS, CTS and the data. Let's see the busy tone mechanism of DBTMA. DBTMA uses two busy tone on control channel that is one to transmit busy tone and another to receive busy tone. They are used to notify neighboring nodes of any ongoing transmission. The trans transmit busy tone is used by the node that is transmits data over the data channel and the receive busy tone is used by the node receiving data. When the base station receives packet from the specific mobile host, it sends out the busy tone signal to all other nodes within the radio cell. Hence, hidden terminal senses the busy tone and refrain from transmitting. DBTMA was used to solve the hidden terminal problem. When the receiver is willing to accept the data, it sends out receive busy tone message followed by the CTS message. All the neighboring nodes that hear the receive busy tone are prohibited from the transmitting. Upon receiving the CTS message, the source node sends out a transmit busy tone message to surrounding nodes prior to the data transmission. Neighboring nodes that hear the transmit busy tone are prohibited from transmitting and will ignore any re transmission received. In this last March protocol, this uses an omnidirectional antenna to reduce overhearing. It uses three-way handshaking, RTS, CTS data, only up to the first hop. Then it reduced to two-way handshake, that is CTS and data. That's why it is called as media access with reduced handshake. The handshaking is reduced after the first hop. Now there is another difference according to the number of handshakes needed to send the data packet from the source to the destination for the root of n hops. In Maca, number of handshakes needed is 2n. If n hops is there, n hops are there. In Maca BI, n handshakes are needed over the root of n hops. In March, n plus 1 handshakes are needed. So friends, that's all for today. If you have any doubts regarding the Mac protocols in ad hoc networks, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.